Welcome back everybody. Um, back with an exciting one today. I've finally gotten to complete my third prototype for Project DML Immortal. The idea is to create a blade here in Australia with uh, modern materials and methods that uh, can stand up to a lot of punishment while still maintaining a light weight and a spring temper being one of the key components. Now, this comes in at 620 grams, which you yeah. should be able to see there, 620. And we're gonna do some quick measurements, paper tests. We're gonna be cutting on straight onto a massive log. I'm talking something the size of my leg. And then we're gonna chop that down, split it down. Hopefully this will pass. And then we're gonna do an edge retention test. All right, so measurements, 620 grams. Let's go into blade length is, where are we? 31 centimeters with a handle length of 12 and a half centimeters. So for you over the pond in the US, that is just over 12 inches and five inch length for the handle. Uh, blade width is two inches for the US or five centimeters for Australia. And spine thickness, we've got, where are we? Seven at the bolster, that's seven mil. Tapers down to five before tapering further at the tip. Uh, it is a full tang, full tapered tang as well. So the tang tapers. It's uh, well balanced as well. It's perfectly balanced. Where's something I can balance on? I'll show you. Here we are. So the balance point is about there. And it'll, it'll dance. It'll dance there. It'll stay there quite happily. So... It's perfectly balanced, which is really, really good. Um, and that wasn't too hard to achieve um, once I knew what I was doing. Even the first prototype had the right balance, but sharpness. It's a uh, slice of paper like no tomorrow. It'll just, it'll just keep going. There's a couple bits where it's catching. That's because I was, uh, dropping it earlier and I may have messed it up a little bit. As you can see, slices of paper. So, now that we've done that, we'll go into some wood testing and then we'll see how the edge holds up afterwards. So, don't go away. One more shot. All right, straight into the wood chopping. Now I told you this thing is very big. This may take a while, I might have to speed it up. But let's just get stuck in and see how we go anyway. So that was a little easier than probably should have been because I didn't realize, but this is full of ants. But that's all right. It was still a fair test. So now that we've done that, we'll see if we can split this down. And we're not gonna mess around with it. We're just gonna go straight through once I find a, uh, a baton. So that was quite easy, full of ants. 
it's all right. Get an answer away from me. Straight through some knots. Go. All right. It's still relatively hard on the blade. It was still still strip some of the patina I've done on it, but it's working. And I'm, because I'm pretty happy with that, and everything's still straight, everything's still sharp as well. We're gonna free my first prototype with this. Alright, I had to move because those ants are getting too intense. So here's the log you can see my first prototype is still lodged in there or at least the top half of it is. So we're gonna try now I'm gonna try and free it. See if we can do that. I might may need to set up a stand Actually, I'll split it down this way. That'll work. All right, let's make sure that's still in frame. Only just, but we'll make an adjustment there. There we go. We're gonna free our first prototype here now. All right, so it's there. So. It still flexes, it's still got spring temper there. See, I'm burying the tip into the ground a little bit doing this too. It's because it's not standing up real well, so I can't sort of just... Get me. Pass that question. This is great, runs all the way up here. So close. There you go. It's free. We've won. <laughs> We've won. All right.
And this is DML Immortal. So. Quick tip test. So I find a flat surface. Might do it on here. Might be able to see it better. So there you go. And after that, we'll just check the uh, sharpness. There you go. Still cuts the paper.
was hard wood. What else can we split? Happy with that.
I'm not even feeling that. Which is how I reckon it's supposed to be, really. That's easy. That's hell easy. This way, probably not so much, but you know, you still do it. Feathers aren't as fine, but you know, there you go. So you can do a one stick fire as well, which is good. Excellent. I've achieved a basic quench line hamone on 5160 with a spring temper. So you can see here, that's, hold on, that's the grind line, once it focuses, and that's the hamone, it goes from here all the way up to here, so I guess I'm very lucky, alright, thank you.